Someone in 1D gets a tattoo live on TV. Sia spills on working with Adele, Rihanna, and more. And Adriana Lima sets the record straight on dating Justin Bieber. All of this and more on today's Friday DHR. What's up, you guys? You are back at the Daily Hollywood Rundown. I'm Ryland Adams, joined by the wonderful Mystic Gigma. Hey, guys. Happy to be here. TGIF, oh, right? Oh, oh, oh. Can't wait. Big weekend. But before we get to that, we got to talk about somebody getting a tattoo on television. Yeah. Last night, the boys of One Direction were on the Late Late Show with James Corden, and they played this insane game called Tattoo Roulette. I don't think it's ever been done before. I don't know if I would commit to that going on a show. Here's the rules. So everyone, including James, the host, had to pick a red box, and inside one of the red boxes had the word tattoo on it. The other boxes said safe. So the one person that got the box that says tattoo had to get a live tattoo right there on stage. There was a tattoo artist ready to go, like, mm. on the side. Well, do you think if you were going on this show, would you agree to play that game? Because you don't have any tattoos, do you? No, I don't. So, I would not have agreed to this. I wouldn't have either. Do you think it was planned that the person that got it got it? Well, let's find out who got it first, okay, okay, and then okay. we'll speculate. So if James got it, he had to get 1D tattooed on him. And if one of the guys of 1D got the word tattoo, then they had to get late, late <laughs> tattooed on them. Niall was so nervous. Watch. Look at your hands. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> your, action, your hands are actually shaking. <laughs> oh, he's got purple. Are you all right? That's how I feel. First time on TV. All right. <laughs> but I love that he made a joke to lighten the mood. Mm -hmm, you gotta do that. So uh, let's find out who was the unlucky person. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Okay, so thankfully it was Harry because he is one with he tattoos. He has dozens of tattoos. But like, do you think it was planned? Do you think that like before the show they knew Harry was gonna get it? I don't know. They were like legit nervous. Some e of them were. Either way, it doesn't matter because he has late late tattooed on him forever. Harry was a really good sport about it. I mean, the words are really really small, mm -hmm. and he said it was a spontaneous decision where to get it. He was just like, uh, eh, right here. <laughs> he gave a thumbs up that he was a okay with it. And uh, also on the show, the guys performed their song "History" oh, off their new album. I love it. Harry and made history that night. Oh, he's making with history. A new tat. Also, James Corden, he's making history. He showed up out of nowhere playing all of these amazing games like carpool karaoke and now tattoos right. on TV. Amazing. He's doing something right. All right, Misty, so you know that Sia is an amazing singer, songwriter, kind yes, of good one at of the everything. Best. Mm -hmm. Well, now she's opening up about working with incredible artists like Rihanna, Adele, Katy Perry, and even Beyonce. Ooh. So it was this interview with Rolling Stone where she was kind of opening up saying that she does these writing sessions with them, but a lot of the songs that they create actually don't make the cut and they kind of just fall off to nowhere. Sad. So, but don't get too sad because Sia is releasing an album that is going to be titled This Is Acting that drops on January 29th, compiled of all of the songs that these major artists actually deny. I love this idea. It's this is a genius so idea. so good. I think it's also going to do these songs justice because it's her voice and she yeah. wrote them. Okay. So I always like to see that happen, but she's also getting candid about working with some of these major celebrities that's kind of shocking. Okay, tell so me. So she said, quote, they'll entice me into a session by saying Rihanna will definitely be there or Kanye will definitely be there, but it's hilarious because I turn up and almost always they never come. So I went into the studio to write for Rihanna with Kanye and neither of them showed up. There were notes from Kanye and I can't even remember what they were. Oh, that kind of sucks that they trick her like that. <laughs> kind of Shaky, like right? Yeah. And then she had another experience with Adele who actually showed up, but they okay. said that they're both kind of alpha males in the studio, so they kind of like butt heads a little Clash. bit. I could see that. Yeah, so Sia said that it got so crazy that she even had to send Adele an email afterwards being like, I'm sorry if I was like too overbearing, but Adele had no bad blood. She was like, what are you talking I feel like about? it's gotta be good for the creative process. You yeah, gotta you, like fight it out. You want two people that have a strong vision to yeah. create a masterpiece. Yeah. And then lastly, things weren't really the same for Katie. Katy Perry, there's kind of some shade going on here. Mm. So she said, quote, she's also quite dominant and she's extremely analytical. I actually quit within the first hour of our first session. I was like, can we both agree this doesn't work? Whoa, first hour? Isn't that crazy? That's so nuts. they must have really butt heads so much so that it was like, we can't do this. Can they film this next time? Like, I want to see the writing session. Uh, I hope so. But it even was reported that Katy Perry had turned down Chandelier and Elastic Heart. 
mistakes. Uh, big mistakes because those went on to be big bangers. Victoria's Secret model Adriana Lima was on Andy Cohen's Watch What Happens mm -hmm. Live last night. Also with Padma Lakshmi. She was also a guest on the show. Andy Cohen had to ask the Brazilian model about those old dating rumors about Justin Bieber. Oh, that surfaced back in Cannes, right? Yeah, in 2014, in the end of May, there were these rumors that the two had sort of like a one-night romance, like mm -hmm. a short fling. So here's what Adriana had to say about it. Oh my God. No. No. Oh, okay. No. I would you would tower have over it. him, wouldn't you? What is that? Tower means like be so tall above him. Uh, it's... Although he would be right at your boobs. It would be perfect for yeah, him. So that was a firm no, right? They did not hook up according to Adriana. <laughs> she, uh, not her type, I guess. Mm, no, and then she made this hilarious joke. Watch. Anybody oh, below going. six, seven, I, you know how I call them? Friends. Okay. Ah, I like it. Okay, that kills me. Plus, that limits her dating options so much. I don't know anybody I over six seven. I think she was seven. kidding, Ryland. <laughs> oh, okay. But that settles it. Nothing between Adriana and Justin. If there was, it's not going to happen anymore. I still have hope. Definitely check out the Victoria's Secret fashion show. She'll be on it. It comes out December eighth on CBS. My favorite night of the year. It is Friday, which means it's time to crown a new Cleverette of the Week. But first, Misty has an honorable shout Yes, out. I do. Shout out to Grace and Julia, who posted this on Thursday's episode of DHR. I was in the hospital and you guys made me smile. I was busy worrying about making my family happy and wasn't worrying about making me happy. But you guys made me think about keeping myself happy, so thank you. Oh, by the way, your goals. Uh, I hope everything is okay and I'm glad that we can brighten your day. Uh, I've also always wanted to be someone's goals. Yeah, yeah. well, success. That's great. All right. And then Cleverette of the Week. Are you ready? Dun 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 dun! Yeah. It goes to Dirty Rag. Oh. Now, I know it has taken a long time for us to get around to you. We see you commenting and showing us love on all of our videos. Also, I don't know your real name, so like, let us know yeah. in the comment section below. He takes the DHR to be like, as usual, I didn't get Cleverette of the Week or even a shout out. And even though it upsets me, I will continue to support Clever. Thank you. So here it is. We appreciate you. We love you. Congrats. Before you go, we have some questions that we want you guys to comment about. Do you think that that One Direction game on the Late Late Show was planned that Harry was supposed to get the tattoo? I personally do, but I also have another question for you. Do you think Adriana and Justin were a thing at one time? Do you think they ever hooked up? Mm. We want to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with Ryland Adams and Misty Kingwell here on the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Have a great weekend. For even more fun, you can click to the left to see Khloe Kardashian calling Kendall a Oh, or click to the right to see Justin post a heartwarming photo of Selena. Mm.